Hi, how's everybody doing today? I know I made a video about this a few uh, weeks ago, maybe even a month ago. There's been a lot of people, I go to the NFL channels and I troll them and tell them that this stuff is rigged and fixed and scripted it. And um, there's this dude out there, it's called uh, Metallic 1992 or something, or Metallica 1992. And he's like, where's the proof of magnets and where's the proof of this and all kinds of stupid shit. But these people are stuck in that, that realm. And, you know, understand that I was too, you know, like I was, I'm a huge Steeler fan. I have huge amounts of collection of memorabilia of them. Terry Bradshaw, rookie cards. <sighs> mean Joe Green and Elsie uh, Greenwood and all kinds of players. Uh, Heinz Ward, Rod Woodson. I have their autographs, fabrics, all kinds of shit like that. And uh, two years ago, I'm watching the World Series, 2017 World Series. And I'm like... This shit's fucking rigged. Nobody knows that Kershaw can is gonna throw pitches like that. Uh, he's one of the best pitchers in modern day baseball, and they were fucking dinging him up, and uh, they knew what pitches were coming. So they can do that in baseball. They definitely can do that in wrestling. Wrestling's already known, and they're definitely doing it in NFL. I've been watching NFL, you know, coherently since 1977 or 78. I mean, I was like a you know little, and I always. I lived. I was born in South Philadelphia, so when the Stan, Flyers won the Stanley Cup, there was parades. I mean, it's a big sports town, Philadelphia. At an early age, I started liking the Steelers, and I followed them. And uh, dude, I mean, there was times where I was like uh, with my friends that hit TVs and stuff. We're gonna get into that, but let me just. I just wanted to give you a little background and let you know what's going on. They are using magnets. This video is a short video. It's called The Ultimate Reception. Now look. Hi, I'm Colin Leffer with the Minnesota Vikings. And this is The Ultimate Reception. Now every kid can catch like a pro. Come take a look. One hand is dude. Look familiar? Sports, entertainment We're going to go that, look at that Tennessee catch, too. The guy just puts his hands out went right in his arm like his breadbasket so times. Effective. Two defenders are right near him. Or NCAA football game. Can't even use it in NCAA this or high school football. For youth and athletes who want to catch like a pro every time. Dude. These are little kids and shit catching the ball like Ultimate that. Ultimate reception features a patent pending magnetic grip system. That literally makes the ball stick to your hand. It's fucking insane. People believe the this is not real. With the evidence the right there. On your side, it usually only takes one hand. Look at this. Now some of these are regular catches. I don't. That isn't though. The ball would bounce off your hand. Unless you have humongous hands. All right, so subject one. Like a boxer. It's amazing. You can't even drop it with the gloves. Make a lot of catches you weren't allowed to make without the gloves. It's pretty awesome. So how easy did it make a catch in one hand? Stick your glove out, put it in a ball. Sticks to it. Good job. Now, I'm going to go back here because I was speaking... Over this lady. I want to hear. Ultimate reception features a patent pending magnetic grip system that literally makes the ball stick to your hand. And with the smallest, strongest magnets in the world on your side, it usually only takes one hand. Come on now. Come on now. Now she's talking about it. For youth and athletes who want to catch like a pro. Here in the beginning, she tells you. Ultimate Reception is the most innovative youth sports entertainment product in years. Players using an Ultimate Reception football and gloves are so effective they are not allowed in any high school or NCAA football game. This players using an Ultimate Reception football They won't even are let so you use this in high school. In any high school or NCAA football game. See this product is strictly for youth and athletes who want to catch like a pro every time. I'm going to say this. I'm going to pause it here. 
Now, a few, about a month ago, I come across this guy named Pat Truthner, and he was showing people, hey, you know, I think there's a magnet in there. He's kidding around, maybe spirits or, you know, moving the ball, whatever. And then <clears throat> I heard another fella, I forget who it was. It was, uh, I think his real, um, recognizes real. I think that who it was. Or maybe I could be wrong, but they were saying that they can actually control the magnet, uh, that how much power they want to put into the, the kick or even the catches and stuff. You see balls bounce, bounce right out of people's hands. You seen that fellow from Tennessee, which we're going to take a look at in a minute, catch the ball. He just turns around and it just goes sticks right to his stomach. There was another guy that said there's magnets in the uniforms. Who the hell knows? I said there was one guy that caught Swift with a electronic device around his ankle and it turned pink and he fumbled a ball. I think something crazy happened. This dude caught it. He was putting it on Twitter. There's people out there. They're just, this is the problem in our society. It is so easy to trick every person. I don't care where you're from in the world. It's easy to trick people. But once they are tricked, it's so difficult to show them that they were tricked. There's where your super ego comes in. This is the stuff Jung talks about. This is the kind of stuff Freud was talking about. Your ego is so strong it keeps you from understanding the reality of things. And the reality of things is this should be illegal to take bets on the NFL or any sport that knows the final outcome of the game before it happens. Or to manipulate a game to where the points will favor the house. That is illegal. You cannot manipulate games. Rothstein manipulated the World Series, dude. They caught him. It's a world news. Until you make fines or even severe, uh, they should be in prison for the rest of their life on the minimum. They, they, you know how much, how many trillions of dollars they swindled out of people? People buying their jerseys, myself included, uh, memorabilia, going to card shows, having shit tons of money invested in these fucking cards and memorabilia because you're a fan of this team or whatever. And then my wife, Ashley, just found out, you know, watching the Buffalo game. I'm, I'm literally calling play-by-play play what's going to happen, how it's going to happen, and how the Chiefs may win in overtime. And the game was all won by Buffalo, and I told everybody that Chiefs were going to come back and that it was going to overtime. And I was right. Not that I'm psychic. I've watched a lot of the wrestling when I was a kid. The only pure wrestling that was ever out there, and Vince McMahon killed that shit immediately, was ECW, East Coast. A uh, wrestling dude, and these people would do matches with uh, fucking table matches, 20 feet in the air, fall on a table, bro, 20 feet in the air, I don't care how fake that shit is, I saw Terry Funk on TV, they did a live barbed wire uh, match, real freaking barbed wire, these guys got caught up in it, and how did get caught out, look it up, Terry Sheik, the Sheik and Terry Funk, <coughs> Tommy Boy Dreamer, Scorpio, a scorpion came out of there. I mean, there are so many people that came out of that. He had to kill it. They were they were killing him in ratings. Killing him. Because it was legit. People were actually getting hurt. I mean, like, you could see people get hurt. They back off, the guys. They're great actors. I met Kevin Sullivan. He lives in oh, the shores. He's a nice guy. Back in the day. And, um, you know, they were cool, man. Families and everything. But that doesn't mean... They, they, they're they not taking bets on wrestling that I'm aware of. <laughs> but they are taking bets on every NFL game, preseason, on up to fucking... That's why they're adding games. And that's why they're trying to push every state to legalize gambling so these fucking mafia Jesuits can take over the whole entire fucking country with uh, blinding them with making fake money. That's like the lottery, you know? You may or may not hit the lottery, but... You, it, it, they don't care. They're gonna get more money for you trying, and that's what this is about. You get the, they get you on the over and unders. They can make a fucking sixty something yard field goal nowadays, times people. So, uh, this may be a little bit, you know, video. I'm gonna go to some other things in a second, and we'll be right back. Hi, we're back, and I just want to give a shout out to Oak Creek TV for catching this, and uh, I want to show you how you're being trolled and mocked. By uh by the media, 
over these games. These are Dallas Cowboy fans, how they reacted. Look at him trolling you. Because he knows it's fake and rigged. He already knew that was going to happen, that the Niners were going to win like that. He already knew that. Look at this guy. This is the guy I'm talking about. He's so fucking mad in Ray Raff, dude. Look at this guy. You see that cedar block behind him? I'm going to show you something here. See that cedar block? He's laughing at this guy. Watch. Now that 9 millimeter is a, is, is, a, is a decent weapon, but watch where he's at. The cedar block concrete behind him. That round run, runs off that television, hits that wall. It's going into somebody, dude. So see, I don't give a fuck how he's pointing. He's pointing the gun incorrectly too. Didn't say that angle, or whatever. This is the level people are willing to go to because of these kind of people are mocking your ass. Watch, well, I just gotta show you over rage and anger and so upset that this. No, he's not done yet, dude. Not done yet. Boom, boom, boom. And that's what you guys are are, are fucking. You, this is what you're you become. And the Jesuits love it. They love this shit. Somebody seriously could have got injured off of that, man. One more time, and I'm sorry. This is not for children, but I put my videos not for children anyway. This guy's fucking mocking you. Laughing in your fucking face. And telling and making people do shit like this. This dude looks like a grown fucking man, actually. He's so fucking mad. He shot the fucking television. This guy needs a hug from his wife. He's looking at all the Dallas Cowboy memorabilia in that house, dude. Look at this guy. He's like, I just got to turn the motherfucking TV off, bro. Now, that dude did an excellent job exposing how fucking ridiculous people are. You go check his channel out. I sub to it. Dude, and um, I use these channel, these videos because, look, if I can expose these fucking assholes... With a fucking camera, a phone camera, and a fucking TV and a tripod. If I had a computer, which I'll get that myself, I, I, I will fucking slay these people and make videos like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> like, I am good at that kind of shit. I was going to school for photography when I was in high school and stuff. But, we're going to actually go to some of these other ones and um, show you how these people, you know, are reacting to this shit. They're fucking crying. This this is the best here. This guy, uh, number four right there. Last play reaction. Look, he Go check his channel out too. He's a good dude. But I'm going to skip through this. Look, look, these people have gotten, they lost their motherfucking mind over a motherfucking football game, bro. Over a football game, bro. They'll break it down. They'll tell you how this happened and shit. There's people breaking this shit down with Jamontria, bro. And showing you that this shit is all related to Kobe Bryant and all this other fucking shit that's going on in this world. Which I have no idea how to even think that way. Because I'm not evil. I don't sit there and try to put numbers together to fucking whack people. And these people are supporting this fucking shit. And they're out there buying all the... Look, he's had enough. This is the smartest thing you've ever done, bro. Take that shit and throw it in a fucking garbage can. They're not worth your energy. It's stealing energy. They're stealing your energy. And they're fucking stealing your energy. They steal you. You're, you're living. You're a fucking human being. You're supposed to enjoy life. You're not supposed to. This is why God tells you not to worship false idols. Because they're always going to disappoint you. They're always going to mislead you. And they're always going to break your fucking heart in the end. Believe me, I was a big-time Pittsburgh Pirate fan, and it doesn't get no fucking worse than that. This guy thinks he's having a bad day? Be a Pirates fan when you only won 20 fucking games in the season, and they trade all your best players away. I stopped caring about that a while. I just watch shit for what it is. But the gambling, is that's too much. And this dude's doing a great thing. He's, he, you know what? He's going to feel so much better after this. He, look, it already looks better anyway. The house is looking better. He's doing a good thing to himself. He has no idea what kind of energy he's throwing away. That shit's negative. It's not worth your fucking time. And it's going to bring you a lot of trouble in the end. There's people fighting each other. You saw a guy just shoot a fucking TV. You don't think somebody would do that to a fan? 
uh, you say the wrong word to these fucking cowards. There ain't no, I'm from 1971, bro. I'm Generation X. We fought with fucking hands and tools, not guns. Somebody bought a baseball bat to a fight. We bought a baseball bat to a fight. I've seen guys break fucking bottles and try to get people with them and shit. No guns. Now, cowards and uh, people that just don't fuck around, you say the wrong thing to them, they're going to shoot you, and this dude's going to do himself a big favor by walking away from that shit for the rest of his fucking life. I show you this video. This dude, who put, uh, put this video out here, Kangaroo uh, Black, these people are doing honest business, man. They're telling you, they're showing, this guy's going to drink. God bless him, at least he's drinking Crown Royal. You have a lot of class, sir. You are a gentleman and a scholar, sir. I love how you roll, sir. And that ain't bad. I'm not mad at that. I don't drink anymore. I wouldn't cry over it. Look at this poor man. That's a cleansing, dude. That's God cleansing his soul. He he realized that he uh he spent that that energy took him, man. It broke him, dude. Broke a grown ass man that can drink Crown Royal. It'll break anybody. God bless you, my friend. Honestly, God bless you. I am not trolling this guy. I really feel his pain, bro. If you want, if you really get involved in these games, I sat through a Steelers game where it was fifty-five to three by the Cleveland Browns, and I'm still thinking to myself, "Well, we can get a punt return. We can figure out who's going to stay on the field or play at the end of these games." It was scripted. We have one of the best defense in the National Football League and fucking Houston Oilers just to light them up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> My grandfather played pro ball in the fucking 40s and 50s. My grandmother made him stop playing. And he got a proper job as a roofer and did that for 42 years. <laughs> so he could tell you who's going to win the game just by watching it for fucking 10 minutes. <laughs> Five minutes of play. You know, and back then they played offense and defense. They had to play offensive linemen and defensive linemen. So my grandpa was on the on the both sides. But that's neither here nor there. And you can we're gonna go to NHL uh, NFL highlights, and uh, we're gonna see, I'm gonna show you every game except one game. Sorry, <clears throat> every game except one game was uh, three points. Every game, um, it's totally re fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. And uh, even in this playoff game here, is divisional. I can break down all of them, dude, and show you why that would not ever happen. Okay, ever in pro football if they played the right way. Nobody plays thirty-five yards off of a guy. That's a punt return for fuck's sake. They even don't even do that during punt returns. Nobody kicks the ball with that little bit of time left in the clock. You squid kick that fucking ball down the field, and God willing, it bounces off one of them assholes, and you get the ball on the fucking special teams and stop the ball and just take the knee and run the clock out. You don't kick a ball off, and let's say, for instance, that dude did catch that ball. You got, say, Tyreek Hill doing a kickoff return. If he can run by four defensemen while the ball is in the fucking air and guys just running right next to him, booty tackling, then you know damn well... That uh, the man is gonna be able to fucking uh, do business on a kickoff return. It's stupid to think any otherwise. I'll sit there and I'll tell you. I tell my friends every year not to bet. I got a guy that I know that bets on every fucking play before the ball snap, dude. Oh, I bet they throw a a fucking slant pass. Oh, I bet they run the ball. Now watch this shit here. There's fucking Mike Dickus boy out there. Mike, if you got none, Singletary. Mike Singletary played for the Bears, so I'm fucking around. Of course, I know who he is. Watch this. This is the most re fucking ridiculous thing ever. Denver 90 stopped. He could have got him two yards behind. That's supposed to be the best, de one of the best defensive ends in the National fu fucking Football League, bro. Lou, you can't see this coming. Honest to God, this is so elementary shit, dude. These offenses are fucking amateur fucking uh, high school fucking offenses, dude. And as a defensive corner, I don't, I'm not even a specialized. I could put up a game plan that would annihilate this guy, and he wouldn't be able to get a fucking yard. He'd be lucky to get out of the game. 
uh, if you play correctly. And this shit, they've been running that fucking place since the 19 fucking 70s, bro. And nobody can pick that up. This is the best here. Here you go. That's the best there. Well, we're going to run a fucking 1988 fucking Nebraska offense out there. Tom Osborne. He, they love running that fucking Nebraska offense. I swear. That's the same offense that got fucking annihilated by the Miami Hurricanes. They had so many touchdowns on defense, I got tired of watching it. Look at this. Oh, I don't know what the hell to do. Dude, in real life, if that guy shoveled that fucking ball like that, that head coach would lose his fucking mind on him. What the hell are you doing out there? Don't fucking shovel the ball. And watch this guy stop running, and he just stops running. Nobody even touched him. Let me go back to that. I don't even think anybody touched him, dude. Somebody could have walked up to him literally and knocked the football out of his hand. Don't know the rules, man. I'm, I don't know if that's 100% what I'm saying. We're going to go back here. It doesn't look... It maybe... I don't know if he got touched. Nobody touched him, see? And I know what people are going to say. Well, they blew the whistle because oh, he, he gave up. If that's the rule, then you really know that rig because uh, you and you know that that shit. I've seen people get a first down and spike the fucking ball like Plexico Burrs did, and Mike Williams did for the Steelers because they didn't know that shit was a live football until someone touches you. You know, but anyway. You can see now they're going to put a little pressure on little Patrick Mahomes. He's the new face of the NFL. I've been telling everybody. With eBay making these new rules, I can't even sell my fucking card on there because I have to send it out to a grading company that's are, that the card's already fucking graded, so you can't even sell on it on eBay like that anymore. Look, they got to tell the judge that it's a touch. He's standing there for fuck's sake. See, that's his only job to do right there. That's what the fuck he's getting paid for. Look like I'm fucking standing there. You don't know this is a touchdown, bro? You don't know or if you're not sure? Of course he puts his hands up. This shit's so rigged, dude. Anybody that would run a legitimate defense would have, this guy would be in a bad way. Just like the Giants exposed fucking Tom Brady with that 4-3 defense. Or, I'm sorry, that, yeah, the 4-3 defense that he can fucking pick up. Patrick Mahomes can't pick up anybody on the right-hand side. You come in on his blind side, he does not pick it up. And this big oak would be broken down by running down a field like that, bro. One of them safeties would come up and take his fucking head off. You imagine him doing this with Ronnie Lott back in the day? And, of course, the whole entire time, this asshole can hold on to the football. But this particular time, he can't do it. And watch out for that block punt. Oh, he's going to punt it in the air. And this motherfucker's going to take it all the way back uh, 90-something yards or something ridiculous. There you go. It's at the one-yard line. Good job. This is such a fucking joke, dude. And I don't have no bearings to any of these teams. I mean, I like Buffalo, I like Kansas City, I'm just saying, I know, I've been, it's scripted so badly, dude, that they're telling you who you're going to, who the favorite player of the NFL is going to be, and you're going to deal with it, or don't watch it, and then when you stop watching it, things will stop, it will change dramatically, believe me, these stadiums, you're taxpayer, you're paying tax money for this bullshit, don't tell me that the that oh, it's entertainment and they can't be sued. The fuck they're using, now they're in gambling. That's a whole different fucking situation. The Federal Trade Commission can get involved in that shit in a heartbeat because that's fucking robbing, that's robbing the general public. You know the outcome of these fucking games. You're going to tell me that this dickhead can go down the field with less than 13 seconds just to tie it and all of a sudden you got fucking Marcus Allen out there running the ball like nobody could tackle him and shit. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Nobody knows how to tackle. One fucking guy. He ain't that good, dude. He's good, but he ain't that good. And then Gabriel Davis? Who the fuck is Gabriel Davis? That guy scored four fucking touchdowns, and nobody's decided to pick him up after the second touchdown or even the first one. 
So you got to watch that fellow. He's wide open. Look at me. I'm going to throw the ball up in the air when magnetic glove time. <laughs> this is ridiculous. If anybody believes this shit is real, you really are fucking sad. You, you probably still believe in fucking Santa Claus and leprechauns and shit like that, bro. I, I would believe there's... I would believe personally that there's leprechauns over the NFL being real. That's my opinion. Make sure 13 catches that ball. Pringle. They fucking mock you guys, dude. They mock me too. Don't feel bad. That's why I'm fucking trolling them. You think I'm going to let these people do this shit to me, bro? And my family and friends and me not go after them? You're sadly fucking mistaken. I had a channel way before this bullshit was going down. I used to go pe after people that were ripping my fucking friends off in the sports car industry. I went after PSA, PWCC. I did that years before any of these dicks were even thinking about doing this shit. And I was right. They took PWC off the fucking eBay because they're fucking shilling bids. Like I've been saying 20, that when that company started. Just like I'm saying about this NFL, this shit is rigged and scripted, bro. Look at how many defenders are around this guy. And then when they want to play defense, they'll play defense. That ball is a good throw. And I'm not saying not all of it isn't, but look at the fucking holding going on, the non-blocking, the non-tackling. It's amateur Bush League shit. You don't want this kind of offense in the NFL. You'll get your quarterback killed, bro. I would love to see this asshole run that offense in the fucking 70s, bro, when they are allowed to do this, uh, knock the shit out of people. Of course, 13 scored. 13 just scored a minute ago. Now you got 13 and 13. Both of them. This fucking asshole. Who the hell is he? I had him in fantasy football one week. And the guy couldn't catch a, one pass. And all of a sudden with them magnets. Now nobody can tackle this asshole. I mean he's good. I don't mean to call him means. But they're, they, what bothers me. They're in on the script. They're letting these guys play. Like Terrell Emmons would, in real life would knock the shit out of Kelsey. I mean, he would catch the ball, but he would be sore after that damn game. I guarantee you, that dude's a big hitter. One of the best linebackers in football. Two of his brothers are playing for the Steelers, for fuck's sakes. Terrell and uh, his, his boy, uh, Trey. Trey's a running back, and Terrell is a, a, a linebacker for us, like his brother over here. Look at him being held. I mean, the guy had him around the back of fucking shoulder. He's not even saying anything in the rough. Hey, I don't mind being hit, man, but this dude's pulling my fucking shoulder. There's a block in the, his own guy chop blocked him. Look at that. This is beautiful. This is what Coach Script was talking about. The missed field goal. No, no, no. All of a sudden, that son of a bitch just gets pulled right out of there. We're going to do one with Coach Script. I should call him. Look at that. Bang. No, 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 it's not not today. You was uh, thinking you was going to make the field goal. No, you don't. It's magic. I'm going to throw the ball down the field. No time left in the game. We're going to bring the field goal unit out. And he's going to miss it just wide right like FSU. The notorious kick for FSU wide right. Just busting balls. And then they're stealing FSU's uh, logo. You know, are doing their fucking the same shit that they do tomahawk chops and all that. Now they're trying to turn the Bengals into the Huda Bengals. What the fuck? That is the New Orleans Saints slogan. They can't even come up with an original slogan. There's their guy blocking them in the back. You gotta love this. You, you know, don't worry about the defense blocking in the back. We got, or we got the fucking, I mean, the offensive line blocking back. I'll just take my own player out, number 93. Then he's going to run down there like he's going to do something when the guy's already down on the ground. He puts his hands up right between it, right between him throwing it like a field goal. Watch. Watch the guy's hands go up in the air sometimes. Well, the oh, last play. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we'll not, nobody would ever see this fucking shit coming. Never. I'm going to push him forward, too. Jesus. Now look how they're playing defense here. There's a flag going down, finally, for holding or chop block. But, but that's Mahomes, man. He's going to get himself a... They're going to get himself... Wow, really? You're about five plays too late, mustache. They've been doing that for fucking the whole entire time. They've been offense. Both teams, by the way, not just Kansas City. 
Buffalo's worse, to be to be honest with you. These idiots are knocking each other out, but they don't play. Well, I mean, what the hell going? What the hell going on is right. Woof! Ball's going right in. No, 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 it's not. No, no, no. One of them. He's one for one, fellas. That last one went in. The other one was uh, kicked the same way, and they missed it, which I showed you about three times. He's tripped up short of the first down. Let me, what, wait a minute here. Let me throw it to this big fella. You know, let me get this big fella involved in the offense here. And uh, Pr Christy Pringle, uh, Santa Claus. And then we got fucking Marcus Allen. Look at Marcus Allen making moves, boy. Nobody knows how to shoot tackle. Now, they love sh they love the shoe tackle from what Coach was script was saying. And booty tackling. Watch him. No, no, no. No, we can't tackle him. We're going to let him run fucking 25 yards in for a touchdown. Sure are. You didn't know? Wow. Well, we'll show you how we do business. Okay, we're back. And I just want to give a quick shout out again to Real Recognizes Real. You should go check this whole video out. But... This guy, like I said, was trying to tell me that there's no players coming out and saying that this shit's rigged. Well, here's one now. But people were like, why are you saying this? You need to play. I'm like, yeah. I said, me speaking about this really goes against me. Like, my, the, my duties and my portfolio is in the NFL. It's under the NFL. So if they go down, my stuff goes down. But I feel like you guys' souls mean more much to me, mean much to me. So you can see the bigger picture. So you don't have to argue it Wednesday at 3 p.m. with a fan that's a Patriots. Okay, I'm going to stop the video from here because you should go to check the whole video out. It's called, there's a video is, let me get his name in there. Sorry about that. Real recognizes real. Uh, great video. It's 30 minutes long. I know my video is a little long, but it's very important to new people. Just watch through it. You can skip through the video if you want to. But the things I'm showing you and things I'm teaching you, other people have been doing this for a lot longer. And some of them are new to it also. But the fact of the matter is, the truth will always be the truth, no matter how many lies are told about the truth. So once you realize you're being lied to, don't ever believe anything else they say because they're a liar, and a liar will never tell you the truth. Because there's no truth in them.